At this transition we will mess with keyframes until we have a nice animation like this. Welcome back. Let us create another transition. I'll call it transition 5 middle. This will be a really simple transition. So I'll select the rectangle tool, select any fill color you'd like. I will stay with the yellow one like here. I come closer and I make a small rectangle. Please make a rectangle to about this size. It doesn't matter how big it is, it should be a small one. Now I need to come closer, select the pen behind tool, select the shape layer and make the anchor point exactly in the middle because I'll work with the shape layer. So I want the anchor point to be in the middle because I'll make some adjustment to this rectangle. All right, the rectangle is okay. And once you create the rectangle, go to align. If you don't see this window, go to window and align and position the rectangle perfectly in the middle. Just to be sure, I open the title action safe. So I see the middle. Yeah, it is okay. This position is all right. Now by having the shape layer selected, press P on your keyboard to open up the position. Now by holding the shift key, press S to open up additionally the scale and shift R to open as well the rotation. Now, before we set any keyframes here, grab the second position value and place the rectangle under the screen so it won't be visible at the beginning. Now I can set keyframes one to three and I can go a few frames forward, maybe about 15 frames, 18 frames, something like this. Less than one second, but more than half a second. So at this point, I would like this rectangle to go slowly towards the middle and start to rotate. So I'll select my position value and the rotation value and I'll place here negative 90 degrees. So it will turn around and the anchor point is very important. If the anchor point would be here, this shifting wouldn't be working because it would rotate towards the anchor point. But since the anchor point is exactly in the middle, it rotates around it. So this keyframe will be my rotation. At this point, I also want it to be in the middle. You see on the title action save that I'm nearly perfectly in the middle, but I want a slow bounce here in the middle. So don't be so perfect and go a bit above it. Now let's preview the motion we have. It turns and it goes a little bit up. This is perfectly fine. Now it will be really simple and fun. And eventually, if you would like to adjust the scale, you have already ready keyframes. I'll set also a keyframe here. And now we will start the fun. I go one, two, three frames forward. I unlink the scale because I want it to grow to the left and grow to the entire screen. So before it gets to the middle, to the exact middle position, I start to adjust the second scale because I want it to grow left and right. So I'll start adjusting the scale. You see a keyframe is set automatically and I can go really ham here. There will be no limits because I want it to grow to the entire screen. Now this would be a too quick motion. Let me go a few frames forward, place this keyframe here and adjust the scale as long as I'll cover the entire screen. If this is too long to you, you can press the shift key. It will get faster. Okay, I will have a motion like that and I want to adjust the position because we are a bit above the middle. So going here, please set also a position keyframe, another position keyframe and go a bit towards the bottom. Just so you hit the middle point. You can come closer with the scroll wheel if you want to be really precise here. You can press the left alt key then it goes a bit slower. Okay, I'm perfectly in the middle now. Why did I do this? Because I want a little bit more of motion here once it starts to grow. Boom, 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 it grows. Going a few frames forward, I want it also to grow on this axis. Now, please preview what do we have in this motion. I'll now deselect the title action save grid because I want to have clean vision. Well, the animation isn't definitely perfect now, so let me shift this position keyframe. Maybe it's a bit better, but you need to select everything. Right click keyframe assistant and at least ease it in to have a slightly better motion.
I think we need a few adjustment because it's a bit abrupt here in the middle. So what can I do? I can reduce the position keyframe, so I make it quicker. I think the scale isn't working here together, so I'll maybe go two frames forward. I set a scale keyframe and I go back to 100%. So at this point, it isn't scaling. It will go down and then it starts to scale. Maybe like this, this will look a tiny bit better. Well, nearly like that. Also, the line is too heavy. It's simply too big. Let me deselect the transparency. This line should be a lot more fragile. And this is while we were working on the transform options. We have still in our contents our rectangle. We can always go to the rectangle pad and reduce its size. I will unlink the size and make it a bit more narrow, just so it will be a small line. Like this, this should look a tiny bit better. Let me preview the animation. Once I make this smaller, this percentage isn't enough to cover up the screen. That's no problem. I can grab it now. I can make it even 20 or 30,000 percent. And now the animation would be ready. Let me turn on the transparency, preview the animation, close everything down to have clearness. This keyframe, it was supposed to be covering the entire screen. So I also have to adjust this one. And now we are finally ready. So we see some little problems arise but this is normal while working in After Effects and with motion graphics. Now we finally completed our animation. The transition is very simple, but in a video this looks really cool to transition like that. We have our fifth transition completed.